Kathy Wood, the CEO and CIO of ARK Invest, has definitely risen in popularity over the past year. This is with the help of her desire to invest into disrupted technology, but it's also because of the amazing returns she's achieved through ARK Invest. This is primarily through her 5 active ARK ETFs, which are the ARK Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF or ARKQ, ARK Next Generation ETF or ARKW, ARK Fintech Innovation ETF or ARKF, ARK Genomic Revolution ETF or ARKG, and finally, their flagship ARK Innovation ETF or ARKK. Over the past year, every single one of those funds have crushed the S&P 500's return of 13.53%. In this video, I will perform a deep analysis into the top 10 holdings in ARK Invest's portfolio, which would be the top holdings when combining all of Kathy Wood's ETFs together. If you're interested in seeing my full portfolio with explanations for each position or buy and sell alerts, check out my Patreon in the description below. Tesla definitely shouldn't be a surprise to us if we've either paid a little attention to either Tesla or Kathy Wood over the past year. Kathy Wood first broke out when she announced her $4,000 price target for Tesla pre-split back in 2018. The average paid price of ARK Invest's position in Tesla is $15.80, which is an absolutely crazy return if we take a look at Tesla's current share price. Despite Tesla's run-up in the past year, Kathy still sees potential in Tesla over the long term. The main driver that Kathy is looking forward to for Tesla is his autopilot feature. Elon Musk has made some ambitious claims about his capability, and Kathy sees this possibility as a huge win for Tesla if full self-driving is achieved. Kathy Wood's Golden Goose price target for Tesla, which she believes has a 12% chance of having, is $4,400 a share. This assumes that Tesla reaches full self-driving, builds factories efficiently, and lowers battery costs significantly. Ultimately, as we can see in this image, Kathy Wood is betting on Tesla's autonomous network. Without the autonomous network, ARK's price target would be $680 by 2024 post-split. If Tesla does achieve full self-driving, then ARK believes that Tesla stock will be worth at least $3,000 by 2024. Clearly, Kathy Wood is betting big on Tesla autonomy. Invitee's service offers four types of testing, which may seem confusing at first, but is actually quite simple when we go over each one. Adult inherited testing is their first type of testing. If a family member has tested positive for a certain disease, this type of testing allows a user to get insights on the risks they might have for developing the same disease. This is mainly for the purpose of genetic diseases, including hereditary cancer, neurology, and pediatric genetics. Invitee offers a customized family testing program that might have shown up in other family members. Reproductive and family testing, the next type of testing, is for screening for protocols before and during pregnancy. This helps parents find out whether they are a carrier of a genetic disorder that they may pass on to their child. Proactive testing is for adults who are completely healthy but want to understand their genetics and are given an actionable plan that can help prevent potential diseases down the road. Finally, pediatric testing is for testing young children to find genetic information that will be useful for treating any diseases the child has or may have in the future. Invitee's Diagnostic Genetic Testing Kit starts at $250, and one can usually expect accurate results in 5-7 to seven days. Currently, they are one of the most accurate diagnostic testers on the market, with many types of the tests being above 99% accuracy. Invitee's genetic tests are becoming more widely used as time passes, and their revenue will no doubt continue to accelerate. In 2021, they are projected to have their sales grow 83.7% from its current revenue of $245 million. However, at the current moment, the company is not profitable yet, and also trades at a premium. Invitee has a negative 25% return on assets, a negative 108% return on equity at the current moment. They also have a price to sales ratio of 24.4, but I do see this decreasing if the revenue increases as projected. This is because the company is focused on expanding its operations before looking into maintaining overall profits. Kathy Wood and ARK Invest are definitely bullish on the growth of the genome sector, and it's no doubt that Invitee, as a leader in genetic testing, will be one of the major companies in this sector. Square is often known as the fintech company leading the way in disrupting traditional banks. Their business is split into two segments, point of sale and managed payments. Square intends to provide the democratization of business. Their point of sale service is mainly for small businesses. This is seen through products like the Square Stand, which allows customers to easily pay for products and add tips if they would like to. This allows for a faster checkout speed, along with a customizable user interface and integrated payments. The reason why this business model is so strong 
is because in addition to the retail cost of the Square stand, which is $800, Square also takes a percentage of the money that flows through every transaction. Square also has plenty of other products that are attached to its ecosystem, including the Square Reader, which reads credit and debit cards, Square Appointments, which allows users to book appointments, and Square Capital, which finances small businesses with loans. Their other business is, as many of us have probably heard of, is Cash App. Cash App has a similar service to PayPal, where you can send and receive money from other people, but they also have additional features. This is where Square is in the conversation of trying to replace traditional bank institutions. First, within the Cash App, you can get the Cash Card, which acts as a traditional debit card. To incentivize the use of the Cash Card, Square offers boosts, and some of them go up to saving 10% on select retailers, which is basically their way of cashback or rewards offered by banks. When users get various discounts on services with the Cash Card, Square definitely takes a share of that as well. They also integrated stocks into the app with fractional shares, as well as Bitcoin and direct deposit. Their services all drive the point of increasing the engagement and transactions of the average user of Cash App, which will lead to the wide adoption of Cash App through word of mouth, and ultimately, bigger profits for Square. Square's Cash App segment has gotten a lot of traction in the past couple of years and only continues to get stronger. In Q4 of 2020, Cash App's gross profit grew 212% year over year and recorded $385 million. This was a large portion of Square's overall gross profit which was at $794 million, or 59% year over year. However, all of this success has led the stock price to climb extremely high. Currently, they have a PDE ratio of 345, which is probably due to their focus on growing their operations before profits. Twist Bioscience is involved in creating synthetic DNA, which is known as DNA printing. Twist is focused on creating entirely new copies of DNA sequences. This allows scientists to create DNA models for various types of reasons, including creating new therapies, sustainable biomaterials and chemicals, and even self-fertilizing plants. They were actually able to discover the instructions for making <laughs> tests and ended up selling those instructions to testing companies. Kathy Wood and ARK Invest are extremely bullish on the concept of synthetic DNA. One reason is that the global synthetic biology market is expected to grow from $5.3 billion in 2019 to $18.9 billion by 2024, which gives it a compounded annual growth rate of 28.8%. Even though the company still has a negative balance sheet, Cathy Wood has brought a lot of popularity to the stock. This has led to Twist Bioscience being up over 800% in one year, and has a price to sales ratio of 72.43. Roku has been on an absolute tear, being up 210% in the past year. This has definitely paid off big time for Kathy Wood and ARK Invest. However, Roku, being a streaming service, has a lot of competition in this space, with the Amazon Fire Stick being its biggest one. Currently, Roku stock trades at a premium, with a price to sales ratio of 34, and has its revenue expected to grow slightly above 39% this year. ARK Invest certainly believes that streaming services are going to replace traditional TV, which is why they have invested into Roku. The company beat EPS estimates last quarter and actually reported positive numbers, which is one of the first times a company has done so. Overall, Roku is a fast-growing company, but it's competing in a rather competitive environment, which personally makes me avoid the stock at these valuations. Iovan's Biotherapeutics is focused on improving T-cell therapy to combat cancer. Basically, cells known as lymphocytes are naturally produced by the body that fights tumors. IOVANCE extracts these cells from the patient's body and multiplies it so there's many copies of these lymphocytes to fight tumors. Currently, IOVANCE is still in trials, but they are actually having really successful results. They are the best company that does this procedure with the highest success rate. In addition, they look to expand their research and development to go past the trial stages. In 2019, IOVANCE put in $85 million into their IOVANCE Cell Therapy Center, which is around 136,000 square feet and is planning on opening in Philadelphia this year. IOVANCE actually has a lot of potential if they do pass these trials, because this can be revolutionary in helping to treat some forms of cancer. However, there are some risks that you need to take into account. While their trials are currently looking good, anything could go wrong, and if their approval doesn't go through, this could be really bad for the company. I say this because they have pending issues with the FDA with the conditions that they need to fulfill to get approval. A lot of us have probably heard of CRISPR therapeutics by now. 
CRISPR is a technology that can be used to edit genes. CRISPR allows you to edit your DNA by looking for a specific section of the DNA and altering that portion. Not only that, CRISPR has been developed to be able to enable or disable certain genes without actually altering the DNA sequence. The reason why CRISPR stands out from other technology is because they have made this process cheap and easy to perform. Before that, such processes took many years and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Previously, CRISPR has only been doing tests on animals, but they are now transitioning over to humans. One of these trials included sickle cell disease, and so far, tests have been successful. In addition to sickle cell disease, similar trials are taking place to treat other genetic disorders such as cancer and impaired vision. From an investing perspective, CRISPR's technology definitely has a lot of potential, but that potential will definitely come with lots of volatility. If you're in for the long term, however, then CRISPR would be quite an appealing investment. The approach of editing genes makes a lot of sense from a biological perspective. The market for gene editing is expected to grow 17% per year for the next 5 years, and CRISPR is set to become the leading innovator in this field. CRISPR stock is up 220% in the past 12 months, and is for a pretty good reason. Their revenue will no doubt grow exponentially. In fact, in 2021, CRISPR sales are expected to grow over 400%, which is definitely a significant amount. Zillow is an online real estate marketplace company. This is a marketplace for sellers to advertise their properties to buyers who are looking for places to either buy or rent. Zillow has three main revenue streams. The first one is called IMT, or Internet, Media, and Technology. This revenue is generated through the Zillow app, where agents can pay to be recommended to potential clients and also through their promoted listing feature. The second one is through the Zillow Home Loans program, which is where they offer mortgages when you buy off their platform. The final one, which in my opinion, brings them the most potential is their iBuying service. This allows the seller to post their property and get offered a quote through the iBuyer AI program. For the seller, this is a guaranteed quick and easy transaction that is stress-free. For Zillow, they are given an opportunity to flip the home for a profit. Many times, the prices offered by this program are under market price. And even though it doesn't make sense for the seller to accept, they don't need to deal with any hassles of finding a potential buyer. If necessary, an agent further inspects the home, and upon the sale, Zillow may choose to renovate the home based on what their AI program says. There are other reasons a seller may use the iBuyer program, with reasons like relocating, getting divorced, or selling remotely. During the pandemic, Zillow has actually reduced their iBuying program, probably because the housing market is volatile, and Zillow wants a bigger margin of safety. Nonetheless, their other two revenue streams are up substantially. In the last quarter, their IMT segment grew 24% to $415 million, and their mortgages revenue grew 114% to $54 million. In the meantime, their iBuyer program decreased 51% to $187 million. Overall, during the past year, Zillow stock has been on fire, and has been up over 212%. Peer Storage is a company focused on providing ways for companies to store their data both in hardware and software. This means that they are helping companies store their data physically in data rooms as well as the cloud, or even a mix of both. You might think that physical data storage is going to turn obsolete, since everyone would rather use a platform like AWS. However, many companies are actually preferring physical data centers over cloud storage, and ARK Invest sees an investment opportunity here. According to a report by Nutanix, 85% of enterprises are moving back from cloud-based storage to on-premise hardware. Peer Storage provides a simple solution to these companies with their hybrid approach, which allows corporations to do both at the same time. Furthermore, Peer Storage's all-flash data storage technology gives the chance to upgrade from outdated hardware storage methods. The all-flash array market isn't going away anytime soon, as it's soon set to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of 26.3% in the time period 2020 to 2025. You might ask the question of how Pure Storage compares with its competitors in this space. According to Pure Storage's website, they invest more money into research and developments than others. In comparison to NetApp, Pure Storage puts in 25% more capital, which can give them the opportunity to provide more innovative technology. Also in the past two years, though NetApp took up almost double the market share in comparison to Pure Storage in 2019, they actually fell from 26.7% market share a year earlier, while Pure Storage grew from 10.1% to 12.7% in the same period. Overall, Peer Storage does look on path to succeed in this space, and may be worth looking into. However, they are currently not making any money, with an EPS of negative 0.89, so that might be something to consider.
2U is a company that offers online degrees from many top tier colleges, which is a business that has grown at a fast rate during the current times. The list of schools on 2U's list is continuing to expand as time passes by, and they currently have had 275,000 students so far, making it a growth company. However, the company is yet to turn a profit, with an EPS of negative 3.40, and is losing a little above $200 million per year. Online degrees could become our future because it lowers tuition and is easy to access. Nonetheless, 2U is more of a speculative growth stock, but ARK Invest seems to believe in the company's future. So there you have it, the top 10 holdings of the ARK Invest portfolio. What is your favorite ARK fund? And what do you think about Kathy Wood's investments? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.